Hey guys, Jamin with PC Monkey here, uh, bringing you another uh, reset video today. We're going to show you how to be resetting an Acer Aspire 3 uh, laptop computer. A couple ways to factory reset this. We're going to show you how to do it from your desktop. If you can access this, if you just want to reset your computer and clean it out. Um, we'll also show you how to factory reset it if you can't access your desktop for some reason. You're, you forgot your password, your computer's airing out. For whatever reason you can't get here to do it, we'll show you how to do it uh, from the back end when you're just starting your computer. Um, just keep in mind that when you're doing this factory reset, um, it will erase all of your data on your computer. It will erase all your settings so you'll lose that. If you are doing this to correct an error, um, maybe a boot loop error or some other kind of error in your computer and the factory reset doesn't take or it doesn't work or you keep getting error messages saying that it won't go through. In that case, you're probably going to have to move on to a fresh install. Uh, your operating system may be too corrupt to reset. We'll have a, uh, a Windows 10 install video link in the description. Uh, also check out the frequently asked questions. It could save you some time. Uh, but if you do need to leave a question at any point in, in the video, we do try to get back to you a couple times a day at least. Uh, so first of all, from inside your desktop, it's fairly easy to do a factory reset. I'm going to go down here to your search bar. I'm just going to start typing in reset. Whoops, really messing that up. Um, re okay. Even though I was misspelling it, it still knows what I want. So it's going to come up with this reset this PC under system settings. I'll zoom into that for you. So as you can see there, it says reset this PC system settings, that's what we want. So I'll hit enter, or I'll go up and click on it. Okay, reset this PC. So again, if your PC isn't running well, resetting might help. Uh, it lets you choose to keep your files or remove them. So this will help you choose uh, between a soft reset and a hard reset. Um, again, one where you keep your files, the other where you erase everything. So you'll click on get started. Uh, so again, here it is. Keep my files as an option or remove everything. Um, if you're doing this as, a, again, an, an error resolution, you may want to remove everything. Uh, if you're doing this to just clean up some stuff, make your computer run smoother, um, keeping your files is a good option. But make sure you know what option you're choosing because if you do select that one, then you will lose all your data, you will lose all your settings. Um, so after you click on that, I'm not going to click on that because I don't want to reset this computer. This was just to show you how to access this and what option to choose. Once you choose that, uh, you just follow the prompts to continue the process and it's fairly easy uh, to do that. So now, assuming that you cannot access your computer, uh, let's say you can't get to your desktop. So we're going to shut this computer down. So assuming that you can't get to this screen, uh, your computer won't load, it's in a boot loop, what you're going to want to do is start your computer uh, and immediately hold down Alt and F10. So Power, Alt, F10, we'll hold those down. Oh, my computer wasn't off. <laughs> Now it's off. The power button, Alt F10. Okay, I think we got it. <coughs> Sorry. Whew. Hello, sneeze. Okay, so we held down Alt F10, let me zoom in on that for you, on startup, and it takes us to this. Continue, exit, continue to Windows, troubleshoot, reset your PC, turn off, that's what we want. Reset your PC or see advanced options. So arrow on over to that, click it, and then again, reset this PC, same thing we chose in the desktop, and it, and again, it gives us the exact same option. Keep all your files or remove everything. Same option we saw in the desktop. 
So again, I'm not gonna choose one, I'm not gonna reset, but this would be the way that you would access the reset option uh, if, if for some reason the computer won't load to the desktop. Uh, so again, if you're doing this as an error resolution to fix a boot loop or another kind of problem and the reset does not work, or it just en endlessly loads and it never finishes, it may signify that your operating system is too corrupt for a reset. In that case, go to the description, uh, find the video link for the uh, reinstall Windows Fresh, and you'd probably have to reinstall the operating system fresh that way. Any questions, leave them, we'll help you out. Uh, if this was helpful, please like and share. If you uh, enjoy do-it-yourself computer work, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.